New Englanders are now being warned to watch out for heavy rains and extended power outages in their part of the country. And from the northeast now to Tennessee, where flooding conditions are even worse there from a separate system, a massive search and rescue operation is underway in Humphreys County, which is west of Nashville, after flash flooding hit the area today. People there have seen a record 17 inches of rain, which, for perspective, is about a third of the yearly total rainfall in the entire state of Tennessee. Some folks who were waiting to be rescued say they're thankful to be alive. We were on the roof of our house and hoping that we were going to make it. We're alive. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight, search and rescue teams are still looking for dozens of people who are still missing, including in some cases children. That's just heartbreaking. You, you know, John, every yeah. year there are about 98 fatalities due to flooding across the United States. So it's just, it's a danger that you got to watch out for. Yeah, yeah looking at, uh, Henri, I know you're tracking that, Dante, but the two questions everybody always has when we get these storms is, will we get the remnants or outer bands? And luckily for us, the answer here is both cases no. is no. Thankfully, yeah, exactly. Sometimes once they go towards the Gulf Coast, that can happen. But luckily this one uh, was just right along uh, the uh, edge here uh, in the Atlantic. And so we didn't, we didn't get any from that. Right now it's a tropical depression, tropical depression, Henri, and it's uh, really starting, starting to move kind of slowly uh, right over New England and uh, dumping a lot of rainfall as well as going to kick up that high surf uh, for those folks into New England. It's going to eventually weaken here to a remnant low as we move into the uh, day tomorrow, probably even into the overnight hours as well because it's on land now, so it cuts off from the warm waters that it needs for fuel. Uh, so far we are quiet across the Miami Valley tonight, temperatures in the 70s and the winds are calm to light and we're still on the muggy side out there. 72 in Wilmington, Dayton at 78, 76 in Kettering. It's going to be a warm night too. We'll get down to about 69, 70 degrees. So Springfield, that just may be where you land uh, for the rest of the night, sitting at 70 degrees. Here across the city of Dayton, we'll be in the lower 70s through the overnight, partly to mostly clear, uh, with the clear skies and the calm to light winds, that's going to set up some areas of patchy fog as we go through the overnight, we'll land about 69 degrees first thing in the morning, and through the day tomorrow, if you're outside, the UV levels are going to be on the very high side, so you're going to have to use that sunscreen awfully generously, and then add on top of that, uh, we've got the heat and the humidity on the way as well, it's going to be above average all week long. Average for this time of year, 84 degrees. So we're starting to go down a little bit as far as the average goes. But those temperatures are going to go up, up, up in the this week. I uh, count them five days where we've got temperatures in the 90s. 90 tomorrow, 91 on Tuesday, 94 on Wednesday, 92 on Thursday, 90 on Friday. Now let's add the other part of the equation on there, the humidity. And so that equals what it feels like every day. Miserable. 92 on Monday. 98 is what it'll feel like on Tuesday. 101 is what it'll feel like on Wednesday. 100 on Thursday. And 94, a refreshing 94, once we get to Friday. And our rain chance is not very good for the first part of the week, too. We've only got a 20% chance of a cooling shower or a thunderstorm. It comes up to about a 40% by the time we get into Thursday and Friday. So there's tomorrow. We're dry, looking at partly the mostly sunny skies. Tuesday afternoon we're dry Tuesday night into Wednesday morning we could see a few showers and there's Wednesday for the most part on the drier side Thursday we finally get a chance of a shower or a thunderstorm coming in here and even into the day on Friday as well then there are chances for a few showers and thunderstorms for us on Saturday so first thing in the morning is going to be mild and muggy so the kids will want the shorts and the polo and the shades and the sunscreen for that matter then uh, we're looking at some areas of hot patchy fog as we go through the overnight so you may have to deal with that first thing in the morning on the way to work and school. 90 tomorrow, partly to mostly sunny, hot and humid with the heat index around 92. And then there are those 90 degree temperatures all week long with better chances for rain as we go into Thursday and Friday and even into Saturday. Look at that, 90 degrees. Overnight lows in the lower 70s. So summer still going on strong. Looks like even into Sunday we're looking at temperatures in the 90s. So we're going to have to wait until next week before we can try and start to cool down just a little bit. Our production tech not liking that. He's just making all sorts of noises over there because of the heat and humidity and thunderstorm. Austin Cheney's in tomorrow morning at daybreak. He's going to keep you updated and give you an update on these numbers as well. John. Family, friends, and loved ones of five children who died in an apartment fire said their final...